Thank you for calling Rocket Speed Internet. My name is Ezra. How can I help you? Certainly, sir. Can I just take you a card number, please? You're very welcome. Thank you for calling. Have a lovely day. Oi. I saw that union guy, Ted, today. He was chatting to people in the canteen. He's looking for people to sign up, but they're asking for a monthly membership fee. He did say one thing that made sense, that we all benefit from the unions. What are you talking about unions for? Unions belong in documentaries about the 1970s. Unions just aren't relevant for today. And anyway, what have the unions ever done for us? Equal pay. What? Equal pay and equal opportunities. Right. Equal pay, they did give us that. The right not to be sacked if you have a baby or if you become ill. <laughs> well, that's obvious. I mean, apart from equal pay and equal opportunities, what have the unions ever done for us? Maternity pay. <laughs> Two-day weekend. The minimum wage. A living wage. And union workers tend to get paid more. Paid more? If you're young and get your pay negotiated by a union, you stand to get paid more than other young people. And get more holidays. More flexible working hours. And you're more likely to have a permanent and full-time job. Oh, um, have you tried turning it off and on again? And you know the zero hours contract you're on? They're fighting to get rid of that too. At the moment, you have no job security whatsoever. You can't even rent a place, let alone get on the property ladder. Well, at least your mum still does your washing for you. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. Well, seriously, apart from equal pay, equal opportunities, maternity pay, weekends off, more flexible working hours, and greater job security, what have the unions done for us? Now get back on the phones. But I haven't had a break all day. They also improve health and safety. And provide workplace learning and skills. And did you know union workers tend to get a better sickness and pension benefits? Do you remember a few years ago when they were trying to cut the pensions of all the nurses and the firefighters and then the unions got involved and made sure that they got a better deal? Oh, and um, if you need to call back, we're open 24 hours. Speaking of benefits, that was the hundredth call of the day. That makes you ring-a-ding-ding -ding today's top performer. <laughs> that means that you get a sticker. That does mean that you are today's loser. Again. And they fight bullying, harassment and workplace discrimination. Not to mention defending the NHS and campaigning on stuff like housing and mental health. And they can provide legal help if you need it. I mean, unions really do a lot, right? Apart from equal pay, equal opportunities, maternity pay, weekends off, the minimum wage, the living wage, higher pay, more holidays, more flexible working hours, greater job security, improved health and safety, education and training, uh, better sickness and pension benefits, protection from bullying, harassment and workplace discrimination, defending public services and legal help. What have the unions ever done for us? Is all that really worth the membership fee? Yeah. Can you even afford to join a union? Can you afford not to?